Thank you very much for joining us today. Today, we're going to talk about being able to use multiple sales orders on a single shipment or a single invoice. Let's take a look at our agenda. So the first thing we're going to do is take a look at creating the multiple sales orders. So each of the sales orders needs to have the same customer, the same ship to code and address, and the same ship via or you won't be able to consolidate them on a single shipment or a single invoice. Then we're gonna add multiple orders to shipping data entry and the invoice data entry. So first up is shipping data entry. Here we are in Sage 100. I'm in the sales order module and let's go to sales order data entry. I'm just going to do a look up here. And to save us some time, I've already entered three sales orders we're going to use for our test here, orders 182, 183, and 184. And they all have the same customer, the same ship to, and the same shipping method or ship via. First, we're gonna take a look how to use this in shipping data entry. So the first thing I'm gonna show you is there is some settings that we need to take care of. So we'll go to shipping setup options, and go to the entry tab. And as you can see here, we have an option to consolidate orders on one invoice and I have that set to prompt. You also can restrict this to sales orders that have the same customer purchase order number. And I'm not going to do that. So let's see how this works. So we'll go to shipping data entry, enter my shipper number, and I'll select that first sales order, 182. And let's go ahead and ship the tan here. Now we're going to get a prompt that we can add other orders to the shipment. So if we're done, we'll just say yes, but we'll say no. And now we can select our other shipment and say we're going to ship 10 of those. And we'll say accept. Once again, we get the prompt. We'll say no, we're not done yet. And we'll go ahead and add the third order and we'll ship 10 of those. And we'll accept, and now we're done. And let's go ahead and take a look at the packing list that will print out a shipping data entry for this. And as you can see on the packing list, it will actually list the sales orders separately on the packing list, along with the items that are shipping. The same is true for the additional packing list. So if we print that, you'll see that it'll list all three sales orders along with the items that are shipping in that package. Now for our next item, we're going to take a look at invoice data entry. Back in Sage 100 again, this time we're going to create a single invoice with the multiple sales orders. And this works a little differently. First of all, there's not a setup option involved here. It just adds the functionality. But we'll go to invoice data entry create our invoice and select that first sales order number. Now, while we're on this screen, notice that there's a new button with this plus sign. And we can hit the plus sign and it will list all of the sales orders that we can access during this invoice data entry. Again, same customer, same shipping method, same ship to address. And we can say, yes, we want to apply all three of those sales orders. And then the standard question that would normally come up about, do you want to ship complete? We can actually answer that individually for each order by saying yes or no. And we'll say okay to all of those. We'll go to the lines. As you can see here, it automatically added all three lines for my three different sales orders. Now down in the secondary grid, we scroll all the way down you can see the sales order number field has also been added. So if I pull that up into the primary grid, you can see where each of these lines have come from. Let's go ahead and do a quick print of the invoice. And once again, when we look at the lines of the invoice, it too tells us what sales order each of those lines have come from. So if you have multiple orders all going to the same customer in the same day and you want to consolidate those into a single invoice instead of creating three separate invoices, 
as in my example, you now have the capability of doing that. To recap, we showed you that you can have multiple sales orders as long as the customer is the same, the ship to is the same, the shipping method is the same on a single shipment in shipping data entry or on a single invoice and in invoice data entry. So if you have all these orders going out to your customers and you don't want to create separate invoices for each of those orders, you no longer have to. Thank you very much for joining us today. Please join us on our channel and user group. Visit us at our website at www.nimsassociates.com or you may contact us at erp at or call the number on your screen.